Welcome to Division with Mr. J. In this video, we are going to cover the long division process and how to go through the steps in order to get to a correct answer. So at the top of your screen, you see divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat. So those are the steps we are going to use, so use that as reference. You should also have something to write with and write on, I would suggest. That way you can do these problems with me. Now if at any point you feel like you have this down and you want to try some on your own, feel free to press pause, solve the remaining problems. When you're ready, press play and check your work with mine. So let's hop into number one here, and we have 78 divided by 2. So we would set this up as 78 under the division bar and 2 on the outside. 78 is what we call the dividend, and that's the number being divided. And the 2, the outside number, is the divisor. So we're splitting 78 into two groups. So let's, we have the problem set up, so now we're ready to start the process. And the first step is divide. So we find the first number in our dividend, or the inside number, which is the 7. So we need to do 7 divided by 2. How many whole groups of 2 can we pull out of 7? So think, well, 1, 2 would be 2, 2, 2 is 4, and 3, 2 is 6. If we went up to 4, 2, that's 8. That's too many, because that goes over 7. So 3 is the correct answer. We didn't hit 7 exactly, and that's fine. You want to get as close as possible if it doesn't hit exactly. So we divide it, and that 3 needs to go right above the 7. Keep things lined up. Now we need to multiply. So we take this 3, and we come back around, and we do 3 times 2, which is 6. Then we subtract. 7 minus 6 is 1 and then bring down. So the next, the number we bring down is the next number. So next to the seven, we have an eight. That's what we bring down. And I like to use an arrow. That way I, it helps me keep things lined up and organized. So I bring down this eight. And now I need to do a repeat of the steps. So I come back over here to divide. So I start everything over. So I need to do 18 divided by 2 now. So how many whole groups of 2 can I pull out of 18? And the answer to that is 9. Then I multiply. 9 times 2 is 18. Subtract. 18 minus 18 is 0. And then bring down. But I went all the way over to my 1's place, and I do not have anything else to bring down. So this means I am done with the problem. And this 0 tells me I do not have anything left over, so that means no remainder. The quotient, or answer, is 39. And that word quotient, that means an answer to a, to a division problem. So let's take a look at number 2 here. We have 462. That's our dividend, divided by the divisor, which is 3. So the first step is divide. We need to do 4 divided by 3. How many groups of 3 can we pull out of 4? 1. Then we multiply. 1 times 3 is 3. Subtract. 4 minus 3 is 1. Then we bring down the next number, which is the 6. And we start everything over. So we divide. 16 divided by 3. How many groups of 3 can we pull out of 16 or make out of 16? And that's 5. 5 times 3, we multiply now. 5 times 3 is 15. Subtract. 16 minus 15 is 1 and then bring down the 2. So, start over. We have 12 divided by 3. How many groups of 3 are there in 12? How many groups of 3 can we make out of 12? And that answer to that is 
4. So now we come back around. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 minus 12 is 0. We went all the way over to the ones place so we don't have anything else to bring down. And this 0 tells us we have a remainder of 0, nothing left over. It divided perfectly into, uh, to give us a whole number. So the quotient or answer is 154. One of the main keys or biggest components of getting a correct answer is having everything lined up and staying organized. So one thing I would suggest if you're having trouble staying lined up and if your problems start to curve or you're not sure what to bring down next or things aren't lining up, take a piece of lined paper and uh, turn it sideways and use the blue lines as your guides and to help keep you keep everything lined up as you go through the problems. So let's take a look at number three and this one's a little different. So we have 378 divided by 5. So this one's a little different because we start with 3 divided by 5, which we can't do and get a whole number. So we need to do 37 divided by 5. So if you cannot do 3 divided by 5 or whatever that first number is, you need to hop over to the second and now we have a two-digit number, 37. So we need to do 37 divided by 5. How many groups of 5 are in 37? Well, 7. And it's very important where you put this number. That 7 needs to go above the 37, not the 3. You have to have it lined up with the 37. So now we multiply. We come back around. 7 times 5 is 35. Subtract, we get 2. And now we bring down the 8. So now we have 28 divided by 5. How many groups of 5 can we pull out of 28? Well, 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Subtract, and we get a 3. We went all the way over to the 1's place. Nothing else to bring down. So this 3 is a remainder. It's a number left over. Okay, so when we did 378 divided by 5, it doesn't work out into a perfect whole number. We have 3 left over. So the answer is 75 remainder 3. So let's go to number 4 here. We have a 4-digit dividend uh, and a single or 1-digit divisor. So 4,684 divided by 8. So let's start with how many 8's can we pull out of 4? Or 4 divided by 8. We can't do that and get a whole number, so we need to jump over to the 46. So 46 divided by 8 is 5. And that gets us to 40. So we multiply now. 5 times 8 is 40. Subtract. 46 minus 40 is 6 and then we bring down the 8. So we have 68 divided by 8. And 68 divided by 8, we can do 8. 8 times 8, 64. Subtract 68 minus 64 now, and we get 4. Bring down our 1's digit, the 4 there. So now we have 44 divided by 8. How many groups of 8 can we pull out of 44? And the answer to that is 5. Multiply. 5 times 8 is 40. Subtract. 44 minus 40 is 4. We went all the way over to the 1's place and brought down that 4. So we're, we are done. That 4 is what is left over. So that is the remainder. So our quotient or answer to the division problem is 585 remainder 4. So there you have it. That's how you go through a long division problem and the steps you need to take. So hopefully that was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching and until next time, peace.